time is the essence of human life here on Earth. Throughout history, man guarded his precious time. Time has measured man's material progress, each individual, with great thoughts, through the extension of their faculties, drew on time. Just want everybody to know that uh, time is the most significant thing to all of us, uh, each and every one of us, all individuals, and all based on liberty and parity and all those things that come along with it, uh, intellectual property patents, copyrights, and private property, and, and lawful occurrences here in America. While you're listening to Area 52 America broadcast, Area 52 America is about the Constitution. 52 times the word law is used in our Constitution, and nowhere is the word legal. In the 14th Amendment, the word illegal was used when men were kept slaves by legal agreement with no consideration or remedy of law. Legal determinations with no consideration or remedy of law. So our program is based on uh, uh, the law, which has become alien to the common people, and uh, things that are outside the boundaries of understanding. And <clears throat> what we'll be going over today is the film in which we did in Detroit for Pastor Steve Upshore. It's a story in uh, which he had an encounter, 1974, before he became a pastor. Uh, he left Detroit back in that time, uh, went out west, ended up in Oklahoma City and then uh, ended up uh, ultimately in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Now this was in the early 70s. His uh, story is documented and um, it was uh, based on uh, something that had happened to him. Now something that's interesting about uh, the exact same area, later <clears throat> in the 90s I did some research on that and there happened to have something Significant happened to a major producer there. His name is Alan Ross. You can go on YouTube and check out Missing Alan. And uh, he was uh, ultimately murdered out there. He had went to Guthrie, Oklahoma to make a film on UFOs, which I found very interesting. Um, when, his, uh, when he died, or when... <clears throat> When his disappearance had happened, no one actually looked for him, which I found very interesting that here's a man in the film industry back in those days who had uh, done documentaries in a time in which it was much more difficult to do documentaries. He was pretty well known that nobody in uh, the film industry, Hollywood, really tried to find out what happened to him. So um, a fellow called uh, named Christian Bauer, a German photographer, came all the way from Germany, made a movie called, or excuse me, made a, a documentary called Missing Allen. You cannot find that film in this country. Believe me, I've tried to get it. And, uh, but there is five minutes of it on YouTube. You want to check it out. It's a very sad story what happened to him. And uh, uh, that, I believe there's a connection here to what happened to Pastor Steve and what happened to Alan Ross in the film Missing Alan, or the five minutes that you can see on YouTube. Anyways, um, basically, what we did was we went to Detroit, shot about a 10 to 12 hours worth of film. Uh, we just used the people from the church and uh, we just threw, threw together our actors, did a pretty good job, and made a docufilm. Basically, it's the story of Pastor Steve and what had happened to him. And uh, <clears throat> ultimately, the film itself probably only shows 40% of what really happened there. Uh, Pastor Steve Upshore is going to be coming out with the whole story. He wants to tell exactly what happened to him there. But here's parts of the film, just a little short version. We do have the docu-film which is about 40 minutes long, which uh, many people have gotten. We've been giving it out. All this was donated to the church. Uh, 
the time uh, which I gave and other people that were involved. So here's a few minutes of the uh, program and you can just get a, maybe 10 minutes to see what, um, what we did up there and, and ultimately you want to hear the story, the 40 minute documentary and ultimately really want to hear Pastor Steve tell everything about exactly what happened to him and uh, you need to check out that Missing Allen film, Missing Allen, Allen Ross. Very sad story. Okay, here we go. Hey man, can you drive any slower? Put your foot on the gas. I want to do some fishing before it gets dark. Yeah, let me get on that for you. I got it. Just don't fall off these windy roads out here. I want to make it to the lake alive. I know these roads by the back of my hand, man. I'm up and down these roads every single day. Lord, it's, it's peaceful. I like these, uh, these these country roads. It's nothing like this out in Detroit. You know, traffic and congested. Mm. This is nice. These long, windy roads out here. I've read in the magazines about the UFOs. What do you know about that, brother? You know what? We just might see some little green men. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Hey, what the hell are you doing? See what's going on? What the hell did you do? I cut your line, I cut my line. Get over here, man. Let me show you something. Don't go near the water. I said, get over here, man. Let me show you something. No way, Jack. I don't want any of this anymore. I'm done. I told you, get over here. No man. way! Let me show you something. Man, you're not going nowhere. I swear. I told you, I'm leaving, Jack. Man, you ain't going anywhere. Man, you're going back, dude. Did you hear me? You're going back, dude. Oh, it's too bad I ruined your fishing trip. But I'm not going back out there tonight. I'm done. He didn't go in the water! He didn't go in the water! There's not much time! <sighs> You're going back out to that lake and forgot to put a gun to your head! Yeah, he's not kidding. You are going back. You know what? Okay, I'll go back. We'll go back tomorrow. Right now, sunshine, let's go. I need some rest. It's time to go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm not going to get into the whole story. You got to see the film to see that. Basically, he goes out to Oklahoma, and these people he meets, he hangs out with, ultimately are up to something very uh, frightening and scary and, uh, you know, something that we probably don't understand. So ultimately they were trying to get him to go to this lake and something happened there. But uh, show a few more uh, clips of the, of the show or of the film in which we did. And then um, I ain't gonna have to call Pastor Steve or check him out on uh, internet, uh, International Peacekeepers. And uh, you know, if you want to hear a little bit about what uh, really happened. So, 
or what completely happened. So when are you going back out with Bullet? I'm never going back out with Bullet. That guy tried to kill me tonight. Do you have any idea what's going on out here? Look, Bullet's just a little crazy sometimes. You know what? I think you have a pretty good idea of what's going on at that lake. Babe, you're just tripping. It's late. I really think we just need to go to bed. No, I'm not going to bed. I can't sleep right now. Do you know what's going You're going to tell me what's going on at that lake. I know you have an idea. Come on, come on. It's late. Come on. I gotta tell you a story, man. Yeah, man. I don't what's want going you. On? I don't want you to freak out, but I gotta get this off my chest. All right, man. You know sure. that girl Sunshine I was telling you about? Yeah. Okay. I met her. She had a couple friends. All right. My buddy came over. We were getting high, and this guy was just persistent about going fishing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They fish a lot around here. <sighs> to make a long story short, we get to the lake, and the weirdest things were happening. To me. I throw the line in the water, it feel like it was tugging on my line, something was in the water. I'm looking at this guy, I thought I saw his face peel off. Crazy oh. stuff, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, I've never, I'm freaking out. This guy kept trying to get me to go in the water. Oh, okay. You went in the water, right? The water? Yeah, you went inside. Oh, I didn't go in the water. Really? I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta get to the track. Hey, Mr. Officer. Good to see you around. It's a cop. He's got it. So how's the UFO business? Ah! 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 Not you too. You need to just chill. Lakes, cops, construction sites. You're all crazy. I'm out of here. Please don't go, Rip. I'm going, sunshine. Where's my suitcase? Come on, you gotta stay. I'm not staying. I'm leaving. This place is crazy. I'm done. I'm gone. But we really like you here. I don't care if you like me or not. I'm leaving. This place is crazy. I'm going. Come on, just think about it for a little bit. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm leaving. Look, let me take you to that lake myself and show you there's nothing going on. I'm leaving. I'm done. But we really need you to stay. Packed up and left, alright. I'll take care of it, don't worry about it. I'll send a couple guys to take care of them, I got this. I'll take care of it. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, buddy, not much. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Oh, not too bad. Just came in from out of town, me and my buddy here. Oh, yeah? Hey, Connie, come over here. Hey, guys, 
How you doing? How you doing, brother? All right. My name's Rip. Hi, Rip. Cotty. Cotty. My name's Rip. Jonathan. Jonathan. Nice to meet you guys. You fellas look cool. Yeah, man. So you're out of town, huh? Yeah. Me too. From Detroit. How you like it out here? You know, I came out here for a vacation initially and just wanted to get away, but kind of wishing I never came out. It's not what I expected. Wow, what's going on, bro? There's a lot of unusual circumstances and situ. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff out here, man, and I can't wait to really just get back home. I like it out here, man. You should stick around a little bit longer. It's pretty nice out here. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe you haven't seen some of the things I've seen, brother. I'm really stressed out, brother. A little bit. Hit this job, bro. I'll help you out a lot, man. Uh, you know what? Usually I would, but uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. You know, maybe, maybe I'll go get some beers later on, but right now I just don't feel like smoking anything. Bring some peace, brother. Come on. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. Uh, Thank you. Well, brother, just take one hit, man. It'll make you feel a lot better. I'm telling you right now. You guys don't understand. I don't want anything right now. I'm okay. You seem very stressed out, man. I'm just trying to help you out, man. This is true peace right now. I don't want anything, man. Back up. I'm done. Don't you know that we are seeds planted by aliens from long ago, and they are here for the harvest, for the holy war? Holy war. That's right. All right, you got about 15 minutes of the film. Uh, there's a lot more to the story. You're going to have to contact Pastor Steve Upshore at peacemakersinternational.org peacemakersinternational.org and I thank you for listening here uh, Area 52 America uh, freedom by law time and liberty and all that together uh, gives us this wonderful country I thank you yeah, put it up above here like this, because when I cut the camera, when I edit it, it's going to be... So, all right, let's do it again. You know, Rip, we just might see some little green men. Try it. Here, just remember, we just might see. We Those words separate. We just might see some little green men. Like a, like a rap song. We just might see yeah. some little green men. Thank Here you. All right, there it is. Got right. it. Got it. Okay, on the count of three, one, two, three. We just might see some little green men. That was decent. But that's definitely... I know, I can do it better. I got it. We just might see that's some little I'm... green men. That's but it's got to be kind of mean a little bit, you okay. know? Okay, I can do it one last time. All right. I can get this. Okay, count of three. One, two, three. We just might see some little green men. <laughs> that was pretty convincing right there, man. Count of three, but you look at them, like, you look at them for a second before you see anything. Look at Dave? Yeah, because this is where I impose that thought in your, you know, on the film. Okay. One, two, three. So how's the UFO business? Da! Shaking, just yeah. like he just did it. Right. You know, you're gonna be like, you know, making faces. Like, whoa, man. Yeah. And then you're gonna back the camera off slowly. And then you're gonna watch me out. We only had 20 days, and that was to put together a, a rough script, get our actors all from the church, build the sets, and uh, find the locations and 
you know, knock this thing out, which we all got together and did. We had one camera, and we had one mic, no lapel mics. Our lighting was kind of weak. We had to use shower curtains and all different types of angles to get the uh, lighting somewhat pretty good. So I want to thank everybody once again for the uh, solid effort, for building and making the set, putting together the scripts, and uh, just outright uh, acting and um, just putting it all together. And I want to thank all you guys again. And uh, thank you, Pastor Steve, for uh, allowing us uh, to do this uh, story that's uh, very significant. I thank all of you once again. Amen.